Hey there, thank you for joining me for our devotional today. Um, and it's going to look a little different today because um, instead of reading and giving a devotional thought on a uh, devotional that I've read over the past week, I wanted to go through um, and talk about something that has been very uh, devotional and very uh, spiritually fulfilling for me. Um, and I think that it could uh, be very good and very helpful for a lot of us, um, but it doesn't come from a written devotional. You just kind of read through real quick, and that's all that it is. Um, I'm going to give us a few different ways to go about prayer, a few different uh, things that have helped me a lot in prayer. Um, the first one is actually um, in a different video. I'll go into more detail on it um, in a different video on my channel and I will provide a link to that but it's uh, called palms up palms down or I call it palms down palms up because that's the order that you do it in it makes more sense to call it that um, but in palms down palms up prayer you will go palms down and you name things that you want to release to God it could be um, the end of the day and some stuff's happened and you're just like God, I need you to take care of this because I don't want to deal with it anymore. It could be at the beginning of the day or looking forward into the next day, um, knowing that certain things are coming up and saying, okay, God, you know what? I I need you to take care of this. Um, you know, maybe you've got a big doctor's appointment coming up or uh, maybe you know that there's going to be a very hectic, crazy day or you know you're going to go visit certain people who are going to uh, cause you a lot of stress and anxiety and you're saying, God, I need you to take this. Um, so you go palms down, you give that up. It could be uh, events, it could be people, it could be emotions, um, whatever it ends up being. Palms down, you give up, and then you go palms up and you ask God to give you something. Um, you could be asking God to give you something to deal with the things you just gave up. So you're going to deal with a stressful relationship and you're you know, you give that to God and then you say, okay, God, to deal with that well, I need you to give me the the fruit of the spirit, love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, gentleness, faithfulness, and self-control. I need that to handle this relationship properly. It could be uh, courage if you're facing a very scary thing that's going to be happening. It could be unrelated to the stuff that you gave up. It could just be that you know you need to become someone who has a characteristic more and so you say god i want you to give me that thing so whatever it is that you're giving up you go palms down to give up you go palms up to ask god to give you something and i've often found my day profoundly changed by going through that kind of prayer but i've also used um a couple apps to help me um might surprise you you know pastor um and in my own personal spiritual life, a lot of times I find it very easy to do devotionals and not as easy to pray in my own time. And two apps that I've found that have done a wonderful job of being both a devotional and a prayer. Um, one is called Pray As You Go. And in a lot of ways, I feel like it is um, in just its regular daily structure. It invites you to pray, but it's also a lot more of a devotional. Um, it has it goes over a scripture passage, asks some questions about it, goes over the passage again, asks you another question, and has you praying with God to get um, answers to the questions, to be thinking about them. So you're kind of in a dialogue with God around the devotional, but it is still a lot more like a normal devotional. You're spending a lot more of your time with, with a scripture passage and being led in certain thoughts around a scripture passage. Still, that app is extremely helpful. It has a lot of other features in it too. So it has your regular devotional that you do um, six days of the week. It has one for the weekend and um, the way it's set up is a bit better to do it on Sunday than on a Saturday. But um, it is a, a very helpful tool for me um, to be making sure that I am in scripture with my devotionals and that I am in prayer. Um, but the, uh, the second devotional app 
that I have found extremely helpful, and that is a lot more focused on on prayer, even though it has a devotional piece to it, is called Lectio 365. So that's Lectio is spelled L-E-C-T-I-O, Lectio 365. And it is a lot more focused on prayer. And they set out to have a, a kind of simple way of praying. They start just trying to, to pause. They'll have a brief little prayer at the very beginning to kind of break you from whatever you'd been doing into the time of prayer. But they're saying, okay, now we're going to pause. We need to transition over to praying. And then they rejoice in God and reflect on a scripture passage. And then they ask God for something. Um, often they'll ask God for something connected to the scripture passage, and then there's something else that that leads to. Um, and then they yield. Um, and so you read through the scripture passage again, and then you say, okay, if God is calling me to do something based on this, what do I need to say? Sure, I'm going to do it because of the rest of the prayer that you just did. And then you offer the rest of your day for God to use. So pause, uh, respond, or pause, um, rejoice and reflect, ask and yield, P-R-A-Y. And they say, okay, this is hopefully an easy thing to remember. You're going to pray. And so you pause, rejoice and reflect. So they have kind of two R's. Ask, yield, pray. And they have a few different focuses that they'll use um, in a cycle. So sometimes they're going to focus on um, mission or learning or justice or hospitality. Um, there are a few others that they will look at. And then if they know that there is a certain Christian who was a great example of one of those um, focuses that they have, they will pause that day and instead of reading a scripture passage, they'll recount the life of that person um, within their prayer so that they are reminding themselves of these great stories of faith. Um, and especially, like I said, pray as you go, amazing devotional, but a, not as, as big in the prayer. Um, Lectio 365, um, the, the devotional aspect of it has been great, but the prayer of it is so much deeper, um, at least for me. Um, both of those um, have been wonderful apps that I've been able to use. Um, I can tell you, pray as you go. You can go to a website and do it as well. Lectio 365 is only an app. Um, it is part of the 24-7 prayer movement. And so if you look them up and you look up Lectio 365, they it's possible that they have resources online, but I haven't found them yet. Um, but if you can get it as an app, then um, it is an amazing one. And the last prayer that I wanted to bring up, so we talked about doing palms down, palms up. We're going to give stuff away to God. We're going to ask God to give us something. And then we talked about these two apps, Pray As You Go and Lectio 365, both of which I have found very helpful in prayer. The last prayer is called the Examine. Um, I don't know why, but I always, I think I first heard it called the Examen, or I just looked at it and it's Latin, and so that's the way that I pronounced it. Um, but it's, I, everyone else that I've heard pronounce it calls it the Examine. And... Um, in the daily examine, what you're going to do is you are focusing on looking back on your day and seeing how God's at work, where God was at work with it. Um, and so you are going to try to, um, come to God. You're going to look at what gave you life. Look at what, um, what blessed you over the day, um, look back and see, you know, what do you need to confess? I mean, we'll say that we are sinners and 
that there's always sin within us, but is there something that you did that you really need to confess and bring to God and repent of? Um, really look at that for that day. Um, and uh, it has a whole lot more parts than this. Um, I am starting to walk into the examine because um, I've realized that I'm at a season where I really need this. I really need to be able to look regularly at my day and at what's going on and see where am I being, where's God giving me life? Where's God giving me joy? Um, and taking this time to examine myself. Um, and since I really am noticing that I need this, it's one that I'm starting to walk into. Um, there are a lot of apps that will look at this. Um, one that I am starting to use is the Pray As You Go app. I mentioned very briefly that they have a lot of other prayer tools. Uh, one of those tools is a daily examine that you can perform. Um, it is probably best to do the examine because of what all it is. You're looking back on the day and asking God uh, where God has given you life and where you know, where God has given you joy, what you need to confess. So it's best to do this at the end of the day. Um, but um, the examine from the Pray As You Go app is about nine minutes, depending on how long you pause it and uh, go through the different parts. Um, like I said, there are a lot of other apps. Uh, some of them will take significantly more time to walk through. Some of them will do it very briefly, but... Um, you know, even though this is a devotional episode for um, us to look at, it's really easy for us to miss out on prayer. I've found for myself, doing devotionals, I can go through those all, all the time, but making sure I'm spending time in prayer is just as important, if not, in some ways, if not more important for me at this stage. And so... Um, I wanted to uh, help let you know a few of those things that I have found give me a lot of life spiritually, that really pour into me spiritually. So thank you for joining me for our Wednesday devotional. God bless you guys. Bye.